Hello and welcome to this latest edition of Cantata of the Week. My name is Matthew Truscott, I'm a violinist, and listening again to this cantata, BWV 121, Christum wir sollen loben schön, Christ, we worship you splendidly, I thrill to remember the sense of community and of collective endeavour which for me defined the pilgrimage year, in fact my first year's work. It was written for the second day of Christmas, 1724, and in fact we came to perform it right at the end of the pilgrimage year, Christmas 2000, in St Bartholomew's Church, Manhattan. It's in two parts. The first three movements explore the miracle and the wonder of Christ's birth, and the fourth, fifth and sixth movements detail man's response to that, of the shepherds gathering around the crib in adoration. Of particular note for me are the outer two movements, the tutti movements, which have a lovely archaic feel and probably would have felt quite old even in Bach's day. Um, this emanates not only from the text, which is a Latin hymn from the 5th century, uh, translated by Luther, but also from the tune itself, which is in a church mode, so it has this lovely antique feel. Bach further enhances this by adding cornet and three trombones to support the vocal line, so you get this lovely, warm, gritty texture. And this first movement in particular is one of those Bach movements where you get the sense of his capacity for producing music, which is on the one hand rigorous, coherent, consequent, totally ingenious, and on the other mysterious, unknowable, and hinting at the sense of uh, the miraculous. And I think this, this sense that the, the sound itself has come to embody the metaphysical is, is unique to Bach, and, and this first movement is a wonderful example of that. Um, particularly noteworthy also, I would say, would be the end of the alto recit number three, where the text is, is um, talking about the moment of transformation um, of God to man, and Bach can't resist um, an, an ingenious and unconventional, totally unexpected harmonic shift um, as the transformation is made. It's a very striking moment. Um, you won't miss it. So for me this cantata has all the elements within it that make the cycle or the set of cantata cycles so endlessly fascinating and gripping in that it's multifaceted, it's totally ingenious, it's endlessly inventive and above all humane and i hope it brings you comfort and joy at this time <laughs> 